Good morning, day 23. Just a quick shot of where I stayed last night. This is Leffing Heart Hostel. So, yep, I was in that bunk right there. Uh, horrible night sleeping. Uh, I slept better in the shelter the night before last, up on Walnut Mountain. Um, I should have stayed on this side. It had the air conditioner. Uh, but uh, it's a big hostel, man. You know, they got some semi-private rooms. Uh, so, kitchen. Where I cooked breakfast this morning, and uh, I, yesterday I had some shots of the outside, but yeah, it's a pretty nice place. So uh, today it's a, it's 15 till 10, and I'm just leaving this this hostel. I get my glasses on there. So um, what I'm going to do is again the Wi-Fi here sucked. I couldn't load any videos or even watch any of my Instagram videos, let alone load one. So I'm going to go on in town and uh, I'm going to go this way, down this road, and uh, I'm going to suck on somebody's Wi-Fi, either the city Wi-Fi, the welcome center, or the library. It's on the way, on the trail. And if, if it goes well and I need more time, then I might try to stay at this other hostel called uh, Nomad. Uh, it's uh, some distance away from here, but... Um, Thought I'd give them a chance. It's only fifteen dollars a night for a bunk. And uh, otherwise, if the internet sucks here, then I mean down at the welcome center or the library, then I'm gonna go ahead and do the best I can until about two p.m. and then continue on. And uh, the next shelter is eleven miles away, so that's not even a knee row. That's that's almost a full day of hiking. So uh, that's all right. I'll be in Irwin in four days four nights, five days. So, uh, it's going to be a beautiful day. And, uh, let's get on down in the center of town here and see what kind of Wi-Fi I get so I can load up these videos. Ah. Okay, fellow citizens, day 24 is, uh, finally really getting started. It's, uh, almost 2.30 and, uh, just ate lunch. And what you see behind me is the main drag. I'm at the, uh, near the French Broad River crossover, I'll get back on the trail. But the, the trail actually is the sidewalk that I'm standing on. And as far as, you know, it goes near through the main street of, of Hot Springs. But uh, it's a quaint little town. Uh, I was not disappointed. Uh, wish I could stay another day, but I, I got another reason for moving on. And looks like uh, I'll be in Irwin Tuesday, right when the rain starts. So uh, the timing there will be ends up being very nice so uh yeah 2:30. um just enough time to get to the shelter tonight but it's going to be a hard climb so we'll see how it goes talk to you later yeah i gotta come back here sometime this is uh this french broad man she's beautiful lovely lovely area there's some white water rafting here the men's outfitters there's there's the campgrounds there with the actual hot springs. Across the street is the uh, uh, Hot Springs Resort. Uh, dates back to, I think, the late 1800s. A lot of interesting history here. The trail goes right alongside the, the French Broad. Cool. Awesome. There's the metropolis of hot springs. I'm doing the climb now. I want you to look at this. Look at this beautiful, beautiful view. And then they have this ugly blight called a solar uh, solar panel farm. So they scrape off God knows how many acres off the face of the earth, put in these ugly solar panels. When they got all the hydroelectric power they could ever want with some mini turbines taking advantage of this fast-moving river. I mean, to me, that's just asinine. But that's just me. Whatever. Moving on. I'll take a little side trail excursion here to Rich Mountain Lookout Tower. Woo! It's windy up here. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, that's nice. Well, I always like being pleasantly surprised. It's a uh, 20 till 7, and here I am at the shelter. Good morning, day 25. It is 9.15, and I am leaving Spring Mountain Shelter. Not a bad time. Gorgeous day. Uh, so... I'm looking at skipping this next shelter in 8.6 miles and going on to the next shelter, which is about another 8 miles. So, for this stage of the game, a relatively short day at 16 miles, but uh, I, think it's, I think that's good. I finally made it to this first shelter of the day. It's a nice one. It's an old stone one. That's bigger than I thought. All right. I'm going to take a pack off break. I don't normally do that, but I am this time. I'm tired. All right. It's almost 1.30. And I'm just not leaving that, that shelter there. Took a nice long lunch break. Talked with several interesting folks. So, uh, Tapper, uh, a guy I've been hiking with a little bit, coming into Hot Springs. He, uh, he's going to have to stay there tonight. Uh, he's sick with the norovirus. And talking with other folks too that were there before and then came in after on the trail. Apparently, this hostel that I was at, uh, Laughing Heart in Hot Springs, a uh, lot of cases of norovirus coming out of there. I know when I was there, there were some people that were sick that they attributed to eating at the Smoky Mountain Diner. And I was like, that that ain't that ain't right because it takes you at least 24 hours to get food poisoning. So, so yeah, so there's, it's norovirus going around, uh, or something very closely akin. So, hopefully I did not contact norovirus when I was there. Uh, if I did, symptoms will probably start with me, maybe tonight or tomorrow. So, yeah, but uh, it's not pleasant comes out of both ends and uh it's no fun from what i hear so all right see ya man this section of trail has been slow going pretty technical <sighs> getting up on the ridge here with a view ah <sighs> All right, I made it to the top. I'm not sure what the name of this ridge here is, but it's a nice view. Well, it says right there, Howard's Rock. <laughs> so, nice. All right, let's look at the other side. It is 4.20, and here I am at the Jenny Cabin Shelter. Well, there's a few other people here uh, getting water. A couple other people were here, and they just left. They're continuing on. But, uh, yeah, so I'm the first one here that's going to stay at the shelter. Uh, it's pretty neat. Uh, actually got a little fireplace in there. And uh, we're at mile 301.8. So here again, another milestone that I missed the guys going to, that went down to get water said that at the 300 mile mark there was some written on the side of the trail and sticks, but I totally missed it. So I have passed the 300 mile mark and uh, 
Today is still pretty young, but I'm going to call it quits here. This looks like a nice, cozy place. So, Well, it's only 6.15, and uh, I am neatly tucked in here. It's a little chilly, a little breezy out there, but uh, still bright outside. And uh, got my fire going over there in the fireplace, and I made me a, made me a pot of mint tea. So I saw some, I guess, catnip or some kind of wild mint growing. And it's not bad. Ah, this is cozy.